<laughs> Tonight we have exclusive video showing a student at Ben Davis being thrown to the ground. Thanks for inviting us in at six o'clock. The witness who took that video in gym class says the man doing it is Ben Davis basketball coach Don Carlisle. We've got Rich Nye, who broke this story, joining us in studio tonight at 6 with this latest twist. Rich? Scott, this afternoon I got a call from Don Carlisle's attorney, and he says it's important what happened before this video starts. The attorney says the student verbally and physically attacked his gym teacher and ripped off Carlisle's necklace. He says the coach's actions were just trying to reestablish order. The cell phone video shot by a student starts with Carlisle in the gray t-shirt and the 15-year-old student already engaged against the bleachers. Fight back, fight back. The video lasts just over a minute with other students watching, calling out, even laughing about the incident. The mother of the student says her son was punched twice in the mouth by Carlisle. The video shows this arm motion by Carlisle against the bleachers, but it's not clear how or if he struck the student. After 30 seconds, the PE teacher and students separate. But then something is said by the boy and Carlisle moves forward and tackles him to the ground. You see another arm motion from Carlisle as he is on top of the boy for 30 seconds. The two are still in that position when the video ends. The Metropolitan School District of Wayne Township says it has provided additional surveillance videos to investigators of the September 6th incident at Ben Davis High School. Carlisle was placed on leave pending the investigation. The Marion County prosecutor will decide on any charges. Cliff Williams coached under Carlisle at Arlington High School. He doesn't believe the coach threw any punches. I just really feel sorry for him and, uh, and other people that have to go through these situations. These teachers give 120 percent and you know I just want it to be fair for the kids and fair for the students as well that every allegation we don't take and assume that it's true. Williams is organizing a rally Saturday for supporters of Coach Carlisle. So Rich, what about this question about whether Carlisle should have been able to teach? Well, Don Carlisle does not have a current valid teaching license. State records show that his emergency teaching permit expired in June of 2022. So that means he taught all last year and then again this semester several weeks without a valid license. And by the way, you can see that full cell phone video of that incident at WTHR.com. All right, we know you'll continue to cover it for us. Rich and I tonight, thanks.